गुड मॉर्निंग डेयर स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल ऑफ फिट एंड फाइन टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग विथ अ न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर एट इंटरनेट आई गेस यू ऑल आर हैविंग ए बेसिक आइडिया अबाउट इंटरनेट एज मोस्ट ऑफ यू आर यूजिंग स्मार्टफोन फॉर प्लेइंग ऑनलाइन गेम्स एंड डाउनलोडिंग मूवीज एक्सेट्रा एट योर होम सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ इंटरनेट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज इंटरनेट सो बेसिकली इंटरनेट कैन बी डिफाइंड एज ए नेटवर्क ऑफ नेटवर्क और यू कैन से Internet can be defined as an electronic medium which connects the whole world with the help of computers. Internet consists of large amount of data that can be accessed by various users and because of this it is also referred to as the information superhighway of the world. So basically with the help of internet we can connect with each other. We can connect with our friends which are at different part of our world. We can exchange information. now see in this picture uh, different users are there user 1 2 3 4 and they are there on the different parts of the world and uh, they can exchange information with each other now see how they can exchange information so they are exchanging a word file means you can uh, exchange your uh, word document then you can exchange your music files you can exchange your ebooks you can retrieve your ebooks again the videos you can search the word documents you can search so you can search different documents uh, which are there on the website on internet so this is how you can search the data on internet and that is why the internet is called as the information superhighway of the world because you can access enormous amount of data from net now history of internet the network was initially founded by advanced research product agency sorry projects agency or later dr within the us department of defense for use in its projects at universities and research laboratories in the us in order to connect computers that were geographically distant from each other so basically internet was started by us department of defense and they wanted to connect their universities and research laboratories with their computers which are at place at a different parts of the world now we'll see the world internet users so first of all asia so this blue color uh, represent the asia 42% people using internet in asia then europe is represented by this red color 24.2% of uh, internet users are there in europe then north america 13.5% then latin america 10.4% africa 5.6% Middle East three point two percent, and finally Australia one point one percent. So this is the older data. This data is changed, maybe. So this is how this is the position of the internet users throughout the world. Now basic requirements for internet connection. If someone want to use internet, then what are the different hardware or software they must have? So first of all. a computer or a laptop with internet browser so we are having this computer with us and this is a laptop and these are the various internet browsers first is your opera then google chrome safari uh, mozilla firefox internet explorer and so on so this is the uh, computers with internet browsers now second is an internet service providers isps companies that offers its customers access to the internet like airtel reliance bsnl mtnl etc so these are the example of isps internet service providers see the symbols this is jio this is airtel this is bsnl vodafone and idea and i guess idea is merged with someone some other um, company now a telephone line so a telephone line that can be used for sending and receiving the data so that's why we need a telephone line also then finally we need a modem or router so modem uh, also referred to as a modulator demodulator it is used 
to connect the telephone line with the computer. It converts digital data of the sender's computers into analog signals that can be transmitted over the phone lines and converts them back to the digital form at receiving end. Now, so this is about the different requirements of uh, internet connections. Now, this picture shows the how data is transferred from one computer to another computer. See my mouse. So, uh, from this desktop PC, I want to send one email. So, I have sent some data from this computer. It will go to modem. From modem, it will go to the telephone lines. These are telephone lines. From telephone line, it will go to the ISP tower, internet service provider tower. And from here, it will goes to internet. And from internet, it will again goes to ISP tower may be placed in some different uh, part of the city and again it will go to these phone lines and from phone line the data is goes to modem and from modem from, from modem data is goes to desktop uh, so in this way data is transferred as, or sent from one computer to another computer now multimedia computer what is multimedia computer you know? So, a multimedia computer system is a computer system that can create, import, integrate, store, retrieve, edit and delete two or more type of media materials in digital form such as audio, image, full motion video and text information. So, basically there are five media elements are there. They are audio, video, text, graphics and animation. Since video and audio files are very heavier in size and especially if you want to uh, run a multimedia software on your computer say like Maya or a special effects software or 3D Max Max, so you need a multimedia computer. Uh, basically multimedia computer is a high con configuration computer with a good quality of RAM, good quality of hard disk, good quality of uh, graphic card. So, for uh, creating a multimedia project, you must need a high configuration system which is called multimedia computer. Now, this is the configuration of multimedia computer. So, a good multimedia system should have first processor a Pentium 3.0 gigahertz, RAM, random access memory 4 GB or more, hard disk drive 1 TB or more, TB is terabyte. GB is gigabyte. Then monitor size 19 inches or more. So this is the monitor size. Then GPU 1 GB VRMP VRAM PCI Express card. So GPU is your graphics processing unit, or you can say it is CPU also central processing unit. Then we must have DVD writer, dual layer, sound cards, high watt uh, subwoofers, speakers standard multimedia keyboard this is a standard multimedia keyboard three button mouse and a touch panel so this is a mouse three button mouse and a touch panel you can also add a scanner printer digital camcorder and a video capture card there is no set rules to define the exact hardware combination of good multimedia computers so this is the basic configuration of a multimedia computers it may vary now the users of internet so, first of all, the electronic mail, information browsing, e-banking, data sharing, socializing, chat and news groups. So, these are the various use of internet. We will discuss them one by one. First is your electronic mail. Email or electronic mail is one of the most widely used features of the internet. Along with the web, it also allows you uh, to send and receive messages to and from anyone with an email address anywhere in the world. So, with the help of uh, email, you can send and receive message throughout the any, par any part of the world. And the various web mail providers are Gmail, Hotmail.com, Yahoomail.com, Outlook, Sparks, then Apple Mail. So, these are the various web mail providers. So, with the help of uh, email, you can send and receive your messages along with some attachments in the form of 
documents video file audio file or images in the olden days people used to send letters through postcards or courier services sending letters through such means was very slow and took several days to reach their destination hence the mail sent in this manner are referred to as snail mails means they are very slow the process of sending and receiving a, a mail is a letter is very slow now see in this picture where my cursor is there this is as this is as this is in land letter card this is an in land letter card here you have to write the address of the recipient his name and the pin code here you have to write your name your address and your pin code and this yellow color card is the postcard in which again you have to write the uh, recipient address with his name and ad, uh, name and pin code and here you can write the message whatever you want to write you have to write the message and finally you have to post it in the post box this is red color is the post box you have to post it and the postman collects uh, the your letter from the post box and uh, take it to the main post office and from it is sent to some other city where you want to send your letter and finally it will be delivered to your friend or relatives so this will process will take longer time maybe you know, weeks or a fortnight uh, apart from this uh, email is uh, fast and convenient and has revolutionized the way in which the communication happens these days so now it is the communication is very fast so we are having various advantages of email first is the uh, low cost the cost of sending an email is very less as compared to the cost of sending a letter by post or through courier so speed an email is much faster than ordinary mail it can reach to any part of the world in seconds however in traditional media it will uh, media of uh, sending a letter it will take longer time convenience sending and receiving an email is very easy and convenient you can send an email from anywhere files of any type can be sent as an attachment through an email so if you are sending an email it is very easy you can sit at any uh, uh, part of the world and uh, you can send your mail uh, if you are having your laptop or desktop connected with your internet and along with your uh, email you can attach the files document files image file video audio files now this is the structure of a yahoo mail uh, this is compose if you want to compose a new mail then you have to click on this when you click on this a new blank space coming where you have to uh, write your email and this is the inbox where my cursor is there this is the inbox this shows the various mails which is received so this today these mails are received today yesterday these mails are received yesterday and last week these mails are received last week and this is the u pin which shows the attachment is there with this particular mail attachments are there wherever u pins are there it means there are some attachments here the time is written there uh, 10.32 pm 1.36 p 21 that kind of dates and months are given here and uh, this is the inbox this is the send mail if you click on send mail uh, a new um, page will open in which uh, which shows the different mails which you have sent to your friends so these are the name of the uh, people who have sent a mail to us now information browsing what is information browsing one of the most used features of uh, internet is to search for a particular information through large database all over the world this information is provided in the form of websites making them a part of world wide web or more commonly known as www so if you want uh, want to browse uh, an information if you want to find out some information from internet you have to use some website and with the help of website you can find out the desired information if you want to find out something about artificial intelligence if you want to make a small robot if you want to learn about uh, programming if you want to learn about coding maybe if you want to learn about some recipe you will be able to find out all these things uh, in different websites you can watch videos on youtube 
you know. So you can use different search engines for finding your uh, information, the information which you want. You can find with the help of search engines. Now browsers, a web browser or simply browser is an application used to access and view websites. Common web browsers include Microsoft Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox and Apple Safari. So these are the few main uh, web browsers. So now e-banking, what is e-banking? You all are aware of e-banking. Uh, e-banking has uh, really been a big boon for everyone. Banking was never so easy and convenient before. Uh, right from opening an account to operating it, uh, e-banking is very useful when we, mm, we can not only view our account activities but can also execute online transaction from home. E-banking is help, helpful in online shopping. With the help of e-banking, uh, we can pay our bills and transfer money to other accounts. We can check uh, our bank statements and go paperless with the help of e-banking. And these are the various apps with the help of which you can do the e-banking. This is your phone pay, this is your Bheem app, this is your Uno SBI and this is Paytm. So you might be aware of all these apps and with the help of these banking uh, apps you can do the transaction from your account. Now data sharing, this is a very important thing. Data sharing was never so easy and quick before. It does not matter if we have to send a file or song, a picture or an ebook with the help of internet. We can send just about anything at anywhere and that too in no time. So data sharing, data means uh, it can, data can be a number, uh, data can be in the form of uh, audio, in the form of numbers, in the form of text. So suppose in your class 50 students are there and your teacher is uh, making a register and marking the attendance and giving the marks uh, and entering the marks in the register, it means uh, your teacher is maintaining a, a data of your class. So this is about data. So you can share your data. Say if you want to share music to your uh, friends, you can do it. If you want to share document file, you can do that with the help of uh, internet you can share movies you can share ebooks with your friends and you can share pdf files and you can share your mm, uh, youtube videos with your friends so this is called data sharing